This is a business model that, that Josh and I built called, and this is the one place where I let my ego get in the way a little bit. It's called Jim's Jobs, but it is exactly the venture that we just talked through on the theoretical basis a few minutes ago that does workforce development and gets paid for it. So as you can see, we've got sort of the overview of the pitch here that talks about how 45% of citizens returning from incarceration will end up reverting to their old habits. And that is primarily due to a lack of access to stable employment. So we provide job training, placement skills, life skills, coaching, and record expungement, which is a huge part of this problem because you're returning from incarceration and many employers are nervous about hiring somebody that's got a record. So we do that to provide long-term gainful employment. Our target market is citizens returning from incarceration. Here's our competitors, employment agencies, nonprofit training, and nonprofit life skills, and why those are better. And this is all sort of standard live plan stuff. Uh, we're going to need $250,000 of grant funding to launch the initial effort. We've got a sales channel. We've got marketing activities, et cetera, et cetera. So this is kind of where we go through the basics of it. Uh, let's get into the financial forecast, Josh, because I think that's where the fun starts for this. All right. And I've created so, a, a new forecast. So this is a fresh, untouched version of a financial forecast here in live. All right. So we're good. So we're going to drop everything in one at a time, right? Yeah. yeah okay. From, and and at no point will you notice my hands leave my arms, right? We're going to do some, we're going to do some trick. Actually, actually, I kid, this is not magic at all, folks. This is just straight up how to use life plans. So let's say that these folks were smart. And as they were testing the model, that they got a planning grant. So we're going to add a revenue stream. It's not unit sales. It's not billable hours. It's not recurring charges. So the place you put in a grant in LiPlan is revenue only. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add that. Josh has already put it in. We're going to say it's a constant amount. We're going to say we're going to get a half a million dollar planning grant in the first year, Let's starting. See. Yeah, it looks like we're. Looks oh, like we're, we're back in 2022, 22. but that's okay. We can adjust the start year later on. But for now, we'll just we'll just pretend it's a year ago. All right, and then I believe you just hit create. There we go. So in the first year, you got a planning grant. Now this shows it all as right. a year. Let's knock it down. That's all right. We can go in. This is why we're doing this this way, right? So we'll actually go to varying amounts. There you go. Enter this in as a one time, right? And we'll. And then in twenty twenty three, the the funder's still going to like us. Okay. You no, you can go ahead and do it this way. It's fine. All right. So if we if we just if it's just a one time, that's how we, yep. could, we could throw that in there. That's right. Now, just Josh, because you did it on the fly, walk back through the steps that you just did and 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 narrate your steps for folks. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So. And, and even to take an, a further step back here at the top, you'll see we're selected on financial tables, which is where we're going to be doing the work. And then the profit and loss balance sheet and cash flow, those will actually be reports. And so back to what Jim was talking about, um, compared to a spreadsheet where you might get into a PL spreadsheet and be entering directly into the PL and potentially goof up some formulas or, or have some errors. Um, everything that reports in these uh, profit and loss balance sheet and cash flow reports is all generated from this question and answer, multiple choice kind of input and selection process. So under the financial tables, we will address revenue, costs, personnel, all the different important questions to the financial model uh, that will need answers all the way through to financing. And then it'll produce for us those three um, really important reports. So what I did is I went to revenue, I clicked on add revenue stream, and we'll just do this again and I'll, I'll delete it out since we're building simultaneously. But you would title the revenue. Um, Jim mentioned it was revenue only since it's just dollars coming in. It's not transactional with units or billable hours or recurring charges. So I selected that. I will mention though, if you were modeling it for units. Uh, it'll ask you unit-based questions. Uh, we're going we're to do that one in just a second. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll click into next. And then what we did is we put in the 500,000 
per year. And that's why you saw that it was projecting every year. Um, but instead, I went to varying amounts and just added it as a one time and then no future donations for this specific grant. And Excellent. then create an exit. So. Excellent. All right. All right. So we've got our planning grant. Now, remember, we said that we're going to have placement fees for the folks that we train. Mm -hmm. But those placement fees aren't going to start day one because we have to train people. So we won't have anybody that we can place and get a fee for for a little while. So we're going to add another revenue stream. And that's going to be you can call placement fees. Yep. And that's going to be unit sales. All right. Okay. And then so, oh. varying amounts over time. Yep. And as you see here, you can put in anything you want. So January, February, March, April, May, it's going to take us six months. So the first time we're going to have anybody to, to get placement fees for is June or July. July is fine. doesn't okay. matter. All right. So let's say we're going to get $5,000 in placement fees in July. Okay. And just to, to, Oh, that's to, right. I got to do the units, don't I? Yeah. Units first and then unit prices. So that, that all right. So let's say we'll place 10 people. All in right. July. Okay. And then we're going to ramp that up a little bit. So we'll place 15 people in August and 20 in September and 25 in October. And then towards the end of the year, things level out. So we'll keep it at 25, 25. Yeah. And in case you were wondering, folks, whether we're doing this out of net, you can see we are literally doing this live <laughs> in live plan. So 25 in December. All right. All right. And then do we want to put in any estimates for the year end of 23, 24? Sure. Let's say that as once we're up and running, we can uh, place... 300 people a year. All right. And I will mention that right now, and all of these settings are adjustable. Right now we're set up with 12 months of monthly detail. And then year two through five are just a year end summary. Um, Live plan will actually allow you to do up to 36 months of monthly detail if you want to get in into it that deeply. Um, so you can do three or five years for the total and then 12, 24, 36 months for the detail. Very and then good. I think you said maybe five. Right. So we're gonna, yeah. And that's per maybe. placement. Is that? Um, let's make it fifteen hundred. Okay. All right. So every placement, there's a fifteen hundred dollar fee. And then that's, of course, we see the grant in January. No income other than that until July, where we start to see the placement fees. And then you can also see the units and the prices. Excellent. So people like this idea. So in year two, we get an we get a small grant to expand, which is how we're going to get to the larger. There you go. So again, it's revenue only. Okay, it's going to be varying amounts over time. We're going to put that in 2023, which is year two. Let's say we get 200,000 for that. All right. Okay. And this right now, just so, to orient the group with what we're looking at, this chart is just showing the current fiscal year. Again, assuming we're in 2022, uh, we could go into the settings and bring that current if needed, but we'll call this year one. So it's actually year two. Uh, which is where we would see that additional small grant come in. Right. And the bar chart on the right-hand side of the screen shows you the, the annual projections. 